Hello there, it's me, Godzilla. And today I shall review Godzilla vs. Megalon. Look at that guy right there. Alright. To start off, the humans. The humans in this movie, they're they're pretty okay. Yeah. The, um, there's a scientist who creates the hero Jet Jaguar. He's got a friend and a little brother, so... And the military people are there. There's some new villains, some aliens, and underground living people. You know, stuff that you listen to or see in classic movies. Now, the, the protagonists, they're okay, they're decent. And as for the antagonists, those cockroaches from space are back. But this time, they're aiding the new villains. The Seatopians. These are underground living people who are descendants of an ancient race that fell in the ocean or sank in the ocean. And they worship a god called Megalon. But we'll get to him in a second. The next is the music. The music is okay. It's actually very entertaining to hear. A bit silly, but it's acceptable because it's, it's fun to listen to. Yeah, especially Jet Jaguar's theme song. One of the most badass theme songs ever. <laughs> punch, punch, punch. So yeah, the the humans are and the aliens. They're okay characters. The music is fun. Now, let's get to the monsters. First, Gigan returns. That's you know that's fun. He returns. There's the new hero Jet Jaguar, who is a rather silly looking. Giant, but he's still pretty awesome. He knows some martial arts. He's he was created by a kid in the elementary school back in the seventies. So you know, what'd you expect? But yeah, he's I'm gonna say it right now. He's a pretty cool character. He may be silly and ridiculous, but he's awesome. And yeah, he should. I believe he should have had his own TV show. Honestly. J. Jaguar is so awesome, he should, ha she he should have had his own TV show. <laughs> or at least an animated show or something. Now, next is Megalon. He's a new villain, and I like him. He's pretty good. He's not very smart. He needs someone to guide him or lead him. But he's still very destructive. He has drills for hands, and he can shoot lightning out of his horn and throw napalm bombs out of his mouth. Which is, I'm not sure how that's possible, but hey, he's a god. That's right, he's the god of the Seatopia. Yeah, that's right, he's a god. And he's he's a pretty cool villain. Not the smartest, but definitely a strong one. And when he and Gigan team up, they are a formidable duo. Now, as for Godzilla himself. Godzilla gets a new suit. And it's a pretty cool suit. I like it. He looks fresh and ready for battle. And a bit more friendly than usual. Yeah, this new Godzilla look is a bit more friendly. Appearance wise. As for the action itself, well... There's more humans action than monster action in the movie. It's sort of like around like the last 25 minutes that we get the actual fight between the monsters fully. But... Overall, the fight scenes itself is good. The human characters, the moments with them, they're they're good to watch. Not the most entertaining, but not the most boring either. As for the action sequences for, between the monsters, they're pretty good. Jajaro can, can fight well. Megalon is fun to watch fighting. Gigan is, you know, always making Godzilla bleed. And Godzilla, he's a boxer. And... The one thing that holds this movie back is its stock footage. It uses some stock footage from other movies. Not as much as Revenge and Vs. Gigan, but enough, a little bit just to be a little bit distracting, but not, not too bad. So, that's all I, got, I really got to say about this movie. Yeah, I give it mm, 3.5 out of 5 stars. It's, it's fun to watch, and... It may be silly a bit, but hey, it's awesome. The music is fun to hear. 
the battles between the monsters are, you know, entertaining. And that's all I can really say about it. So, yeah. 3.5 out of 5 stars. And see you guys later. Yeah.